go on dividing fractions. So we can see that the product of two when the product of two numbers is one, that's because that is the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal. For any fraction A over B, the multiplicative inverse is to flip it. So if I have A over B, then the re reciprocal or multiplicative inverse is B over A. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Dividing fractions using the reciprocal. All right, example one. Multiply by the multiplicative inverse of 5 eighths. So you're always looking at the second fraction, never the first fraction. What is the multiplicative inverse of 5 eighths? There you go, it's 8 over 5. So we have 3 fourths. It changes to multiplying when you flip it, and it becomes 8 fifths. And then we're right back to where we were for the previous lesson. We are multiplying fractions. So it says divide 4 and 8 by their GCF. What is the greatest common factor of 4 and 8? 3. Greatest one. That one works. But if I use the greatest one, I won't have to reduce as many times. Aries, what's the greatest common factor for 4 and 8? Higher than that. What do you got? Four. Again, you could divide by two, but then you'd have to divide by another two. You'd have to do it twice. So I'm going to cross cancel and divide by four for my four and eight. Four divided by four is one. Eight divided by four is two. And then I look, the three of five have nothing in common. So you just multiply straight across. We have three times two is six. One times five is five. And again, you can leave it improper. If I change it to a mixed number and I get it wrong, I have to take points off. All right, so there you go. Dividing fractions. One more. Dividing mixed numbers. On dividing mixed numbers, it says rename the mixed numbers as improper fractions. That's the first thing. Mixed numbers need to be changed to improper fractions. So remember, you're not taking the negative into consideration when you do that. It's 5 times 6 is 30, so you're multiplying, multiply, and then you're adding. So 5 times 6 is 30, plus 2 is 32 fifths. What do I do with the negative? Put it in the numerator. And we're still dividing right now change the next mixed number to an improper fraction. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11 fifths. All right, I've done the first step. Change the mixed numbers into improper fractions. Now it says multiply by the multiplicative inverse, which is what? What is the multiplicative inverse here? 5 11. So I am looking at this one, and I have to flip it. That's 5 11 multiply by the multiplicative inverse. So we have negative 32 fifths. When I flip it, it changes to multiplying. And then we're back to multiplying fractions again. We're looking for cross canceling. Some people are just multiplying straight across. This would be like 160, negative 160 over 55. And they leave their final answer as negative 160 over 55. It's half because you've only done half the work. So do I want to reduce 160 and 55, huge numbers, or do I just want to look at my problem? Do we have any reducing to be done here? Do we have any common factors, Lorelai? Exactly. So why not do it here when it's small instead of trying to do 160 divided by 5, 55 divided by 5? So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 5 divided by 5 is 1. Any more? No, nope, because we have 11 which is 11, 22, 33, 44, so we're done. doesn't have anything in common with 32. Negative 32 times 1 is negative 32. 1 times 11 is 11, and that's it. Final answer.